What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In the last video, we went ahead and completed full bandos, got the BGS. This video, we're going to work on Zami, AKA Krill Tutsaroff. Before we head over there though, I'm sort of realizing I'm getting kind of a decent cash stack going. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the combat bracelet into the regen bracelet, which gives a better strength bonus and also that nice regen effect. Pretty sure that this is the best way to do it, right? 10 chaos and 10 death and then reset the shop. All right, nice. There is our 260k tokel. So I'm pretty sure if we buy this, it'll be like either a hard task or an elite task. Nice, dude. 250 points. I will take that. And here it is with the mushroom pie. 84 crafting. Onyx bracelet, baby. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. God damn it, dude. We need 87 magic for that. That's kind of high. Wow. I'm only 79 magic. So I guess I'm going to have to go do some magic training. Okay, after like 10 laps of elk agility, I decided I'm going to go ahead and wait till I'm 87 Slayer. We'll go ahead over to Kraken and we'll just train magic there. So we got up to level 80 magic. For now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep the combat bracelet on. It's not that much of a big of a difference. So I am just so excited. I really want to go over to Zamrock and grind that out. Oh my God, dude. This BGS is so freaking sick. It's just like... Oh my god. We just hit five specs and I just got like zero defense. Just hit him like five times with the whip and he's dead. It's so nice, dude. I just hit a 52 with the whip. Is that real? And boom, just like that. That's how it's done, boys. And since this is a greater demon task, we will be heading towards that 87 Slayer to unlock Kraken to unlock magic training. Oh, fuck. We just got the fucking spear on 18kc. Uh, holy shit, dude. I will take that. Uh, that is like really, really nice. Um, <laughs> first unique 18kc boys. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Zemi spear number two, 33kc. I think I didn't equip it last time. It might be a task. Yeah. 250 league points for the Zami Spear, baby. Oh, that is so beautiful, dude. Hey, there's 87 Slayer, man. Uh, I think I'm going to cancel this Greater Demon task and go get a uh, Kraken task so we can get that magic XP going. So we'll come back to Zami in a bit. So this will also actually be really nice to get the Abyssal Tentacle going because that just gives us a bit more DPS on our melee setup, which obviously is a good thing to get. And there's one KC at the Kraken boss. Defeat a Slayer boss. 100 points. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually kill the small ones till we get the trident because I did like 11 boss kills and that took like an hour or something. So <laughs> this blood wave is like really bad compared to the trident. So once we get the trident, it'll speed up the boss quite a bit. Yay. <laughs> Uncharged fucking trident, dude. Oh, uh, blood wave kind of sucks, honestly. So I'm going to get out of here. 100 league points, baby. Oh my God. That is, that is an attractive looking thing right there. Plus it looks like we managed to get 88 magic from that excursion there, which means we can indeed enchant our bracelet into the Onyx bracelet or rather the regen bracelet slightly better than the combat bracelet. Beautiful man. All right. We are going back to Krill Tsutsaroth, which means we need another greater demon task. Dude, like, this boss is so chill, man. Like with the BGS, it's just insane. This is just like super, super nice. Like I can't imagine this being any more nice to be honest. God damn, I am in love, dude. I'm in love. <laughs> spear number three, baby. Three spear number three. Uh, pretty much useless. Pretty sure any spear after one spear is useless, but that's cool to see. That's a totally iconic item and I will take it. What we are really here for is the Staff of the Dead. For those of you who don't know, there's a uh, method for killing Commander Zilliana where you basically just use the Staff of the Dead spec and then you just like can AFK melee her with the staff and you don't take any damage. And it's just really convenient and nice. So that's what we're going to be going for. Maybe we'll come back here at some point to get the hilt and, you know, like complete off the God Wars collection log. But for now, Staff of the Dead is what we're after. So hopefully we can get it pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it's like a 1 in 500 drop. So on the leagues, it's going to be like 1 in 100 and... 50 or something right i don't really mind grinding this we're getting like probably like 60 kills an hour or more so i'm having a good time whoa steam battle staff uh that's unique not sure how rare it is pretty useless don't think that's a task either so <laughs> that is 
That's a Steam Battle Stat, boys. That's that's what it is. A spear number four, right? Four or three. Pretty sure it's four. Man, that is always going to be a nice drop. I'll take it, dude. Dude, oh my god, Staff of the Dead. Oh my god, man. That's the fucking drop we're after. Oh god. We can, uh, wow, we can leave Zemi now. Um, this is the item we need to do Commander Zilliana. So, I am gonna go do that now. Dude, hell yeah, man. We got that, like, pretty close to drop rate. 136 KC. I will take it. Okay, so I'm not actually sure how this works, if we're supposed to pray melee for this whole thing, or what we're supposed to do. So I'm gonna throw on Piety, Protect from Melee. I'll use the spec, and then we just attack the boss. The spec reduces all melee damage incoming by 50%, so I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't know if this is a normal kill or not. This doesn't really feel like it's very good. Maybe we'll have to look up how to do this. Okay, well, there's our first kill anyway. Kill Commander Zilliana, 36 rune darts. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, also, you know what? That is 20,000 points, so that is a cool milestone to hit. I'll take it, man. Okay, like last kill, I just died and because I got stacked up by like five lightning attacks. So I think praying magic is actually the best thing to do because she does have a, ma a magic attack, right? So this seems to be going a lot smoother. Got around half health and I haven't used any food yet. Plus we're tanking Growler, who's just, like does most of the DPS out of all the minions. Yeah, this seems like the strategy, boys. Okay, so I decided to bring the BGS to like lower her defense and it's doing a lot. Uh, but the thing is, I'm using up my whole spec bar every single kill. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the uh, restoration pool going in the POH. Though I'm only 55 construction. So before we do any more Zilliana, I think I'm going to go train a bit of construction. Unless we can get an entire SGS on this one kill here. Which is possible if we kill the minions. So let's see if we can get it. And we can't get it. Well, I don't know how we managed to do it, but we got exactly level 85 construction, which is the level for the uh, POH fairy ring, which is kind of the highest tier thing that I need, or that I want rather. Just a really convenient thing to have in the house. Obviously, you get the POH teleport right here and the fairy ring right here. So let's go ahead and throw this bad boy down. There we go. POH fairy ring. And since we just did a bunch of grinding up to level 85 construction, pretty sure we can get a couple of real easy tasks done. So achievement gallery, 200K, seems worth it to me. There is a 100 point task as well. We're gonna go ahead and build this mahogany portal for another quick, easy 50 points. And then this is the real reason we're here. The restoration pool, as I'm sure all of you already know, restores your special attack bar. So I would get the upgraded version, but I don't have 77 herb lore for the stamina potions. We'll be passively working on that, I guess, as we uh, collect more herbs. But for now, that means we can go back to do some super efficient God Wars dungeon. All right, dude, this is like so much nicer. Okay, there's our first unique from uh, Commander Zillion and baby 14 KC, we got the Sara Sword. That is an elite task complete. Pretty sure I'm never going to use that anywhere, but nevertheless, that is another thing knocked off of the collection log. Beautiful. God Sword Shard 2, baby. That is our sixth God Sword Shard on the account. Not sure if that's a uh, unique that we need for our second blade, but it's definitely, definitely nice to get because I do really want to get that SGS going as soon as possible. Ooh, Saradaman's Light. Forget what that, I think it like makes the Zami room brighter and you can, maybe you can attach that to the Staff of the Dead to make it like the Staff of Light or something. I forget. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. Maybe I want to keep the Staff of the Dead for now. Just because it's nice to have a Zami item. Maybe, except I think these, okay, fuck it. I'm pretty sure that this is a Zami and a Saradaman item. Um, fuck it. Let's do it, boys. Hopefully I didn't just like screw up. Can we still use the spec? Nice. Okay. So we're good. We're good to go. Ooh, it's even like a white skull instead of a green one. A 97 KC Sara Diamond Sword number two. That is the third unique, I'm pretty sure. Looks like we're going kind of dry. I'm supposed to have like three of these at this point, but that's totally fine, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, man. A Sara Diamond's Light number two, baby. Yes, dude. Armadil Crossbow. Holy shit, dude. That is the best in slot rage gear for this account i'm pretty sure just like in general for the leagues oh god 112 kc that is not bad dude i got to 83 range with a dorgish and crossbow afk editing the last video and now we have an armadillo crossbow that is so nice that unlocks inferno that unlocks armadillo that unlocks basically anything that requires range dude god damn that is sexy dude god short shard three not sure if that's the one we need 
I don't actually know. I don't think it is, but we definitely are going to need a couple more shards throughout this grind. So I will take it. 117 KC. Whoa, what the hell, dude? Dragon Medhelm, 123 KC. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how rare that is, but I'll, I'll take it, I guess. A Sara Diamond Sword, number three. Pretty sure there is 149 KC, boys. Pretty sure all we need at this point is the hilt. So hopefully we can uh, get that soon. Ha <laughs> ha. Back to back, Sara Diamond Sword, baby. Sara Diamond's Light, number three, baby. Your eyes are indeed not deceiving you. What you're seeing on the ground is the Sara Diamond Hilt, but somehow the clip got deleted. So as a substitute for a super awesome reaction, you instead get an explanation of the absence of the clip. The moment of truth, do we have the God Sword? Ah, oh, we need one God Sword shard one. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I'll throw this in the bank, and I'm gonna go ahead over to Zami. Krill Tutsaroth does give a lot of kills per hour, probably the fastest out of any God Wars dungeon boss. And now that I've got the POH going too, we can immediately store our spec in prayer. So that's gonna make it even faster than what we were doing at the beginning of the video. Probably should have had that going at the beginning of the video, but you know, better late than never. God damn, dude, we are one step closer to the Sardom and God Sword. It feels so good, dude. And for the five of you who have never heard of RuneScape and don't even know what game you're watching right now, uh, we can go ahead and consume this Saradaman's Light. And I'm pretty sure I've never actually done this, but it will light up. Yeah, man, look at that. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Now I can actually see what's going on in there. Beautiful. And now we get a spec five times on every single kill. So it's just like insanely, insanely good. <laughs> Zim, Raki, and Spear number five or so. Not sure, but I'll take it, dude. Dude, the back-to-back -back spear, 152 and 153 KC, man. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting so many uniques. What is that, like five uniques and like 10 kills or something? Jesus, dude. Dude, what is happening? 162 KC. There's our third Steam Battle Staff in this bout. So, oh man. It's so nice to get all these uniques, dude. It feels so good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna spec them. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna get the whip. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Zami Spear number six, I believe. Um, still no God Sword Shard, so I will keep going. Hey, there is 120 combat apparently, which is an elite task. So, oh god, I, have to eat. I will take that, man. That puts us at 21,000 points. Hey, there is level 99 attack coming in, boys. Whew, feels good, dude. Gonna go ahead and throw all this stuff on defensive, because that is our last melee stat that we need to get to level 99 and then well except for hp but that'll come naturally dude i don't know how many is that our seventh or sixth spear i don't know dude <laughs> 15 mil drop man never gets old I fucking love to see it oh my god dude <laughs> when is it gonna stop oh it's raining uniques dude god damn this is why we kill the minions boys God Sword Shard 2 but i think that's the one that we already have two of so no that's the one we have one of so we now have two God Sword Shard 2s, and I can't even, I'm not going to even attempt to say it properly. God Sword Shard. So we have two God Sword Shard 2s and two God Sword Shard 3s, which means we need two God Sword Shards 1, the Armadillo Hilt, and the Zemrock Hilt. And we will have completed God Wars Dungeon aside from the uh, Armadillo Armor. So fuck yeah, dude. I'll take that. <laughs> Zemrock Spear number 1500, dude. Hmm. Pink text. All right, so I decided to take a little break from God Wars to go ahead and get our Herblore up. I really want to get 77 unlock stamina to unlock the fancy rejuvenation pool. So for that, I need 77 Herblore, which I pretty much have. I can plus one boost for that. But to make the stamina is I need Marks of Grace. And to get Marks of Grace, I need to do agility. But to do agility efficiently to get Marks of Grace, at this point, the only course I can do is the Arduin course. So I want to get to the Arduin course, but I'm only 81 agility. So in order to get to 90 agility, which is the level for Arduin course, I'm going to go ahead and train agility. In terms of training agility efficiently, there is the Seer's course, and that is about it at this point. And since I do not have the Kandarin Hard Diary, the Camelot Teleport does not take me directly to the front of the course, which means it's slightly less efficient, which means I want to find a different way to train agility. And I believe the most efficient way to train agility at this point in the game would be to do the Hollow Temperature, but I don't have the Sins of the Father quest completed. So I'm gonna go do the sense of father quest and in order to do that I have to do a taste of hope and get 60 fletching So I'm gonna go do a taste of hope and get 60 fletching and there's level 60 fletching damn dude with fucking last recall Dude, this quest only took like 10 minutes. It's so nice It's gonna be hard going back to the main game without having last recall. There it is a taste of hope completed Pretty sure we also get like an XP lamp, right? XP reward. Yes, yeah, perfect So this is actually gonna get us up to level 77 herb lore, which is the level we need for uh, is it gonna get us there? It's not gonna get us there 
It'll get us a lot closer there, which is a level we need for stamina. Beautiful. So next up is Sins of the Father. Dude, I fucking love puzzles. All right, I never use quest guides for the puzzle part. All right, so we know it has to be this to get 13. This is the only one you can possibly do, which means this has to be one. So this is three. We know it has to be five, four, because there's no other way to get nine with these numbers. It means this has to be two. This has to be one. Fuck, I fucked it up. Uh, I fucked it up. We know we're chilling. We're chilling. And this goes here. Boom. Hey, there's level 90 magic and 1975 total. Beautiful. Why do I get the sense he's not going to incinerate me like he did them? Here we go, boys. Let's get him. There it is, boys. Sins of the Father completed. Beautiful. All this stuff. Access to Darkmire as well. Two birds, one stone. There is a level 70. Oh, we just got two levels from that. 78 Herblore. Nice. And we can do this two more times. Each one of these, Jesus, 79 Herblore. Might just get level 80. Boom. Level 80 Herblore, boys. That is the level for Vials of Blood, which is perfect. We just unlocked Darkmire, which we can teleport to now, too. So let's go ahead and do that. There are all kinds of tasks to do here. Uh, whew. Defeat a Firewatch Sentinel. Probably just gonna bust out, like, a couple tasks real quick. A. There is Thief 50 Vires. 100 easy points coming in. All right, dude. Time to do some Hollowed Sepulture. I got, like, really into this when it came out back in like June of 2019 or whatever, June of 2020. It's like one of my most watched videos even to this day. So <laughs> like pretty pumped that I'm going to be able to do this to train agility. It's like really fun. And there's a lot of tasks involved with being here. Strange old lockpick. That should actually be really useful for the Barrows grind. I'm planning to get like, I don't know, maybe 500 KC at Barrows. I think there's a couple tasks to do there. So that'll be really nice. Speed that up quite a bit. Boom. And there is 82 agility, baby, which means we can now do the fourth floor. Hey, there's a hard clue. Mixing up the content a little bit. What do we get? Yeah. Another hard clue coming in, boys. What do we get? Ooh, magic short bow. That is actually a an elite task or hard task. Yeah, hard task for the magic short bow. Beautiful. E 81 herbler boys. That is a level four Sardom and bruise, which is huge. All right, boys, we got 100 marks of hollow. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the hollowed grapple, which is a hard task. Oh, God damn, dude. <laughs> There is level 90 agility. That is the hour doing course. I'm uh, gonna do one more run of this real quick, but um, Jesus, like I didn't think this would take like 10 hours. I don't know why I thought I could get like 80 to 90 in like an hour, but <laughs> it's kind of crazy, man. And what all of this, just so we could grind out 10 marks of grace so we could build the stamina pool in the house. That's the beauty of Iron Man mode, dude. Oh boy. Well, here is the fourth piece. I wanna make sure I buy the right one here. There is obtain every hollowed tool in the, uh, shop here. So going to go ahead and head over to the Arduin course now. 250 points for completing one lap on the Arduin course, man. Beautiful. <sighs> All right, boys, there is the marks of grace that we need for the stamina pool, but I decided to do a couple of extra laps around the course here because there is 92 agility that unlocks the floor five of the Hallowed Sepulcher. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there and see if I can test my skill on floor number five. So just real quick before we go in there, there is a task to get the eight minute completion for floor five, as well as the 630. I don't know how well I'm going to do here, but I'm pretty experienced with this. So hopefully I can get it on my first try. We'll have to see. I'm really rusty. I haven't done it for a few months. All right, boys, floor number five. This is usually where it gets pretty tricky. We're on a PB run right now, apparently. Yeah, I don't even know if we did it, dude. That's gonna be like a seven minute time, right? Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and loot the final chest here. Timer's paused, so may as well, right? All right, let's see what time we got. Uh, seven minutes. Dude, there's an elite task for six minutes? Holy shit. Pretty sure I've never gotten better than seven minutes. Um, okay, well, we got the eight minute one, so that's pretty nice at least. 350 points there, but <laughs> six minutes is gonna be a challenge. I'll have to uh, do a bit of theory crafting and see if I can figure out how to do that one. Oh, hey, there is a uh, 2000 total apparently on 93 agility elite task complete boys. Damn, that was a 617 run actually. So this is actually gonna be pretty feasible. I did make one mistake that cost me like 10 seconds. So I guess I'll just have to squeeze out that extra seven seconds somewhere else. Otherwise that run was kind of tick perfect. So yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> dude, we just got it. It's 6.30, not six minutes. Dude, <laughs> we just got the elite task complete, boys. 
Oh man, that feels pretty good. Yeah, that feels great. That feels amazing. Oh fucking right, boys. I feel like we tried to do this like 80 hours ago. We're finally here. We got 10 stamina potions in the inventory, which means we can upgrade the pool. But that is just a rung in the ladder of progress. Really what we're after here is the prayer rejuvenation pool. That means when we're grinding Zambi, we tell it to the POH to restore our stuff. Instead of restoring our special attack bar here and storing our prayer here, now we can just restore it all here. So we just save like three seconds worth of time subscribe hey welcome back to zami with a nice little steam battle staff number six or something i don't know dude i have a lot of these at this point oh dude god sword shard one that's what we need oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god okay oh my god dude we are finally here we are about to forge the best weapon in the game well by my standards anyway got the saradaman hilt got the god sword blade go ahead and attach those two boys <laughs> Oh, oh my god, dude. I've never actually had one of these things. This is going to be so nice for the Inferno for basically doing any PVM, Barrows, Slayer. Dude, it restores everything. Prayer, HP. I'm sure I don't have to explain it to you guys. This is the best unlock on the account, man. This makes everything totally accessible. So with that, boys, I will leave you until after Christmas. This might be the last video of the year. We will have to see. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe out there. Until next time, I love you. Bye. Thank you.